Hey guys, I'm Gavin Leatherwood, and today I'm with Buzzbeat to revisit the past by making a playlist of my favorite songs from when I was a teenager. If you want to listen along, click the link in the description to access my playlist. So I graduated high school in 2012. I grew up in Orange County, California in the sleepy little town of Yorba Linda. And we we're kind of bored and found lots of trouble by like, you know, skateboarding in schools when they were empty and stuff like that. A lot of angst in those years. I was a very sensitive little boy. I like grew up doing musical theater and I came back into the world of public school in seventh grade which like seventh and eighth grade are the worst years. Puberty's hitting and you're changing and like, this is me and my pops. I had like a middle part haircut and like a roller backpack and a Star Wars tee and orange cargo shorts that were like the zip off kind that I thought were super cool. And I got bullied a lot for it. And I saw like the skaters and all of them never took any beef from anyone. And I was like, those guys. And so my acting career kind of started again there and I like shaved my head and more like big baggy shirts and little skinny jeans. And like, I really more pretended to skate. I wasn't that good. We like put up little personas to kind of act as a defense mechanism. So I was like a, a faux skater with a shaved head, which doesn't look good on me because I have a little peanut head. And I like played sports and then realized I hated it and traded it for a guitar at some point. It feels like ages ago. It's so weird to do a deep dive into your past. It's so trippy. All right, first song on the playlist is Eyes Open by Taylor Swift. This song was a set song that me and my buddy played Call of Duty to. It was my sister's boyfriend and he would like skateboard over to our house and they wouldn't end up hanging out. It, I would always steal my sister's boyfriends and end up like hanging out with them. So me and him would literally park our butts on a couch, play Call of Duty Zombies, and we would do it to the sweet, sweet tune of Eyes Open by Taylor Swift. The beautiful sounds of that mixed with the killing of zombies that was strangely complimentary. And keep your eyes open. We were like glued to TV and with video game controllers. And I'm pretty sure we beat our high score listening to this tune. So it's definitely capable of bringing about magical moments. Feeling This by Blink-182 is second up on the playlist, ladies and gentlemen. It was one that I knew every single word to and could sing nonstop. It's really kind of weird how I would listen to this song, which it's about sex, okay? It's, it's about sex, but I didn't know that, all right? I didn't, I was just like, I just liked the da -da 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 And I listened to it before going into wrestling practice, which is the weirdest time to probably listen to that song and then go, you know, wrestle around with a bunch of sweaty boys and, and do that thing. And I still know every single word to it. Turn all the lights down now. Feeling this. It's a damn good one. Pressure by Paramore, number three. This was just another one of those general angsty teen songs, and she's still killing it. And when you talk about like that artist factor of people that like got the thing, like the charming charisma thing, she's got the thing. It had a huge impact on me as a kid where it was just like, get with your friends in a room and you're like jumping on the couch in the bed kind of stuff and just thrashing around. She, she started a thrashing phase in me, which I didn't even know I had in me until Paramore, so thanks, Haley. Number four, Thrift Shop. Macklemore. This is when I started getting into a phase of thinking I was like a lot cooler than I really was. He got me with the first couple of lines on this song. Like before he even started talking, it was the what, 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 what. And Macklemore, can we go thrift shopping? Something so fun and like uplifting about it. And I'm pretty sure he inspired loads of people to put on their grandparents' clothing and call it cool because that trend has not stopped. Kudos, Macklemore, you did it. This is Yonkers, Tyler, the Creator. I was listening to this when I was like 16. It sort of like redefined rap and was just this huge thing. And, and you could like feel the magnitude of, of what he was doing in, in the form of creativity and expression. The video tripped me out. If you haven't seen it, like it's super dark. So brace yourselves. There was an element about him that wasn't trying to be cool. It was like, he was very much in his body and knew who he was. And you can see it like when he raps too, because everything had felt sort of manicured up to this point. His stuff just felt genuine and raw and real and like dark. It's definitely inspiring in, in many ways, but I won't be emulating this, that same style, I don't think. I'm a softie. 
<laughs> he, he's a hard ass, man. <laughs> Number six, My Name Is by Eminem. I was listening to this song in my iPod mini in the back of seventh grade math class when we got to just do work and put headphones in. This is before they started realizing that whatever was happening in these little things were incredibly distracting in some way. And I would listen to that on repeat. It's such a vulgar song. And there's like such a visual storytelling element that Eminem had that he painted this really obvious and distinct picture with his words. There was this element of violence and anger in his stuff that was sort of perfect for uh, the seventh, eighth grade years of like trying to figure it all out. And that gripped me. It was just like, I had never heard that before. And there's like a little kid, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is your life by Switchfoot. Switchfoot crushed it for me when I was a kid. It was what I was listening to. It might've been like slightly before teenage years, but it definitely carried on into teenage years. And they put me in my feelings in such a way, looking out of a bus window, listening to this and crying by myself. You know what I mean? Like it had that sort of thing. Those were like some of the first lyrics I started really paying attention to as a listener. You know, this is your life. Are you who you want to be? This is your life. Is it everything you dreamed it would be? And there was something that like crept into my conscience as a young kid of, of wanting to live up to my own expectations. So, you know, they made a big impact on me in some way. It's heartfelt and sweet as hell. Little Lion Man by Mumford and Sons. It was sort of my first initial introduction to what folk music sort of sounded like where, you know, it was mostly acoustic instruments and like banjos and, and stand-up basses and, and whatnot. It inspired me to like pick up a guitar because I saw these like cool dudes playing music. And I remember girls being like, oh my God, like Mumford and Sons, like they're so cute and they, I love their songs. And I was like, I gotta get a guitar. <laughs> it started something that hasn't ended and my love for folk music has just grown stronger and stronger out of that budding seed. This is Crash Into Me by Dave Matthews Band. I was a really big um, romantic as a kid, I think. I really loved the rom-com-esque movies I just wanted to fall in love. I didn't even know what that means. I still don't know what that means, really. Music was something that transported me close enough to feel the feelings of what love felt like in whatever my teeny tiny little child heart could feel at the time. I remember being in love at like 12 years old. I would like listen to that song and like... And she had no idea. Um, I mean, she knew I was in love with her, but she didn't know I was like, you know, doing one of those. And the tone of his voice and the swell and the sound of the music where you felt some form of like longing and love because of it. Um, and that's the magic of music is like, you may not even be able to intellectualize it, but emotionally it charges you in some way. Juicy by Biggie. I do not condone smoking marijuana, but we would sit in the parked driveway and we like, in the car while listening to this song. He made us feel a lot cooler than we were. It turned me on to his story. I started realizing like how much story was in rap as well. Biggie felt like really hope filled and inspiring. Stick it to the man, stick to your dream, do it for you. Damn, it made you feel like you can come from nothing and get to something. So thanks Biggie. All right, guys, that was my ultimate playlist for my teenage years. I hope you enjoyed getting a little sneak peek into my past. Let me know what you thought of my choices in the comments below. And don't forget to go stream my single just for tonight, which you can find under the moniker Leatherwood on Spotify, Apple Music, and whatever else the kids are listening to nowadays. Thank you a lot. <laughs>